Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red van. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure they'll be knocking ring letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Singing, the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Hey, take it easy, you two. Oh, I don't know what's got into them today. <laughs> <laughs> They're certainly enjoying themselves all right. Bye, Mrs Goggins. Bye, Pat. Oh. Oh, uh, Pat! Pat! <laughs> Oh, no, my knitted cushion. Jess. Oh, I am sorry, Mrs. Goggins. They're for the Portage Twins tree house. Oh, well, never mind. I'll start again. <laughs> Looks like they're having a play day today, Mrs. Goggins. See you later. Bye, Pat. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, calamity. Hello, Ted. 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 Oh, uh, sorry, Pat. You been there long? No, no. Uh, is this the treehouse for the twins? Ah, it'll be grand when it's done. Do you need any help? Well, if you could pick up some things on your rounds, that'd be champion. Hmm. PC Selby's got some paint. Alf's giving me some wood. And your Sarah's making curtains for the windows. Oh, is she? Right you are. I'd better get on then. See you later. Bye, Pat. La 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 What's happened? 
<laughs> Come on, you lot. Back you go. Dorothy! Oh, Pat, it's good to see you. My ladder fell over. How did you manage that? It wasn't me. It was Jess and Bonnie. <laughs> Aye, that's them. They're in a right playful mood. Oh, dear. I am sorry. It looks like they're getting a bit too playful. Never mind. No harm done. So, what can we do for you, Pat? Thanks, Alf. Ted'll be waiting for these. No problem. Bye, Pat. Bye. Ted. Right you are. Thanks, Ted. No problem. <laughs> mm. That looks OK. We just need Arthur's paint now. Right. I'll go and get it. Won't be long. Mom! Jess! Bonnie! Hey! Move along there, please. Oh, no, Jess. Bonnie, come here. Oh. Oh. What happened here? Jess and Bonnie. That's what happened. They ran all over our picnic. Jess and Bonnie? Yes. yes. They were only playing, Pat. They are causing a disturbance. I'm so sorry. I don't know what's got into them today. I'll go and find them as soon as I've finished the treehouse. Oh, yes, the treehouse. You'll be wanting your paint, won't you, Pat? Yes, please, Arthur. I got the paint, Ted. Thanks, Bat. I want to get this finished before Julia and the twins get back. OK. Hey! Watch it, you do! Hmm. <laughs> oh! Oh! 
Oh! Oh! Uh, sorry, Pat. Oh, sorry, Ted. It's okay, Pat. <laughs> Ouch! Oh. After you, Ted. Thanks, Pat. Whoop! Oh. Hang on, Pat. I'll pull it off. Oh. Oh. Hey, up. <laughs> Watch out, Ted. Oh. My egg. Oh. Sorry, Ted. Thanks a lot, Pat. <laughs> Look, Mum, it's finished. It's beautiful. Can we go up, Ted? Please, please, please can we, please, Mr. Can we Glenn? Go up? Hi. Hello. Here's the curtains I promised. And I finished the cushions. Thank you, Mrs. Goggins. You're welcome. <laughs> Wow, it's great up here. I can see Thompson Ground and the railway station. Thank you, everyone. Um, how about some tea? Tom, Katie, lemonade and biscuits. Then you can come and play afterwards. Coming! <laughs> I'm afraid Jess and Bonnie have been getting a bit overplayful today, Mrs. Goggins. I'm pretty sure it was them that wrecked our garden, Pat. Oh, no. I am sorry, dear. Oh. Did you hear that? It almost sounded like Jess and Bonnie. They can't get down. Poor Jess. Poor Bonnie. They're stuck up there, Pat. Come on, Bonnie. There's a good girl. Don't worry, Jess. You're all right. <laughs> oh, you poor wee thing. Oh, there. Hello. <laughs> That's enough playtime for one day. It's home time for you two scamps. Just beginning, I feel 
Cause he's a really happy man Everybody knows his bright red friend All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them Maybe you can never be sure they'll be knock Ring letters through your door <laughs> Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat And his black and white cat Singing, the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. What's all this? I've got to take something special into school and talk about it. Aha, uh -huh, show and tell. Yes, but I can't decide what to take. Hey, Julian, Julian, look at this. It's a micro-sized super spy two-way walkie-talkie. We can talk to each other even if we're miles apart. Like, like this. This is Charlie to Julian. Charlie to Julian. <laughs> I think we'll leave you to it. Come on, Jess. Oh, all right, sleepyhead. I'll come back for you later. They're great, Charlie. Let's try them when we're further apart. OK. This is Charlie to Julian. Charlie to Julian. Charlie? Charlie? Uh, oh, I don't think it's working. Charlie? Meow. Charlie? Julian, is that you? Yes. Oh, Ooh, you're here. My handset's not working. No, mine. Meow. 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 Oh, here we go. It's OK now. Meow. Meow. Where's yours? In the house. I'll go and get it. Where's it gone? Meow. This is Charlie to Julian. Jess? Julian? Meow. Can you hear me? Meow. Hello? <laughs> oh, Jess. Meow. For a minute I thought you were talking to me. Julian? Is that you? Hi, Charlie. Come inside. You'll never guess what happened. <laughs> you actually thought <laughs> Jess was talking to you. <laughs> hey, that's given me an idea. <sighs> if we attach one of the handsets to Jess's collar, we'll have the best show and tell ever. Meow. The world's first talking cat. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name's Jess. Wow! It's just like Jess is really speaking. Hello. <gasps> Anyone seen Jess? Is Dad. Quick, let's try it out on him. Oh. <laughs> there you are, Jess. Meow. Had a nice nap? No. Yes, thank you, Pat. <laughs> it was very nice. Come on, Jess. Meow. We've got work to do. Meow. He didn't hear. Oh. Do it again. Oh, <gasps> it's not working. What are you two up to? <gasps> um. Uh. There. It just needed a new battery. Hee, <laughs> it works. Thanks, Mum. Come on, Charlie. Let's try it again.
way to the church. Come on. Hello, hello, hello. Anyone about? Hello, Arthur. Pat? Over here, Arthur. Jess? Wow. Hello, Arthur. Is everything all right? It's incredible, Pat. Incredible. What is? You mean he hasn't spoken to you? Who hasn't spoken to me? Well, Jess, of course. <laughs> Jess. He knew my name, Pat. Good morning to you, Pat. Arthur, Jess can talk, Reverend. Who? Really? <laughs> you must be hearing things. No. See? I told you. <laughs> bye. Bye, Pat. Come on, Jess. Bye-bye, Reverend. Bye-bye, Arthur. Who? Have a nice day. He called you Reverend. Yes? You look lovely too, Nisha. <gasps> Pat, you're not going to believe this, but we just heard Jess talk. <laughs> not you too, Nisha. Everyone's trying to play jokes on me today. <laughs> <laughs> Mustache. Bye. Bye, Nisha. Bye, Nick. <laughs> my tummy hurts. <laughs> oh, mine too. <laughs> Let's go home and have a drink. We'll play some more later. <laughs> I don't know, Ted. People keep saying they're hearing Jess talk. Well, he hasn't got a lot to say for himself now, has he? <laughs> no. Well, that's my last post of the day. Come on, Jess. Jess? Where's he gone? <laughs> Perhaps he got fed up of talking and went home on his own. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll keep an eye out for him. Thanks, Ted. Bye. Bye. <laughs> what have you two been up to? <laughs> <laughs> Attached one of the walkie talkies to Jess's collar. <laughs> and, and people <laughs> thought he could talk. <laughs> poor Jess. And poor people. It was just a joke. Well, I know, love, but you could have given someone a real fright. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Mum. I'll call Pat on the walkie talkie and say sorry to him, too. Talking cat. <laughs> I don't know. Hello? Hey? Hello? Uh, 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 who's there? Hello? Oh. Yeah. Hello? Oh, no good, he can't hear me. Let me try. Hello? Pat? Can you hear me? Meow. Meow. Oh. We'll just have to wait until... Oh, Pat! 
Hello, everyone. Has anyone seen Jess? He wandered off at Ted's Mill and we thought he might have come back here. Jess? We've not seen him, Dad, but we might be able to talk to him. He? Meow. Jess! Meow. It's Pat. Meow. Now, Jess, Meow. we don't know where you are, but we want you to come Meow. home. Meow. Come on, Jess. Meow. Jess. 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 Ted Glenn, you should be ashamed of yourself. There's nothing scary in that mill. <coughs> Jess, there you are. I'd better phone Pat. Oh, uh. Come on, we'll go together, eh? Meow. Right then. Uh, where's that phone? Jess? Oh, not again. Can you hear me, Jess? Meow. Meow. What's that? Hello? Meow. I know that voice. Ted? Pat? Meow. Thanks, Ted. I'll be over straight away to pick him up. Bye. I don't think Greendale's quite ready for a talking cat yet, do you, boys? No, no Mr. Dad. We haven't got anything for show and tell now. Why don't you just show Jess as he is? Suppose so. Thanks, Lucy. That was great. Who's next? Julian and Charlie? We were going to show my walkie-talkie. Yeah! But we can't. Aww. So we're going to show you Jess instead. Hello, everyone. <gasps> Jess, was that you? Of course it was me, Julian. I'm the amazing talking cat. But, but, I, I, I... Are you all right, Charlie? Ow! Ta-da! Dad? <gasps> He's got one of the handsets. And here's the other one on Jess's collar. Sorry, boys. I couldn't resist it. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> never mind, boys. After all, you've given us a show and tell we'll never forget. Isn't that right, everyone? Hooray! 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 Oh, brilliant. Oh. Postman, postman, pets. Can you guess what's in his bag? Is there a letter? Meow. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red van. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. They Never be sure there'll be knock ring letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds 
the school guinea pig, Lucy Selby is taking her goldfish blob, and the Pottage twins are taking their sheep. Don't forget about Mira. Oh, yes. Mira's borrowing Mrs Goggins' dog, Bonnie. And which pet are you taking to the Greendale Pet Show, Julian? <laughs> <laughs> Jess, of course. <laughs> I think Jess wants to go with you, Dad. Well, he can't go to the pet show and come with me. <laughs> Hello, Dr Gilbertson. Hi, Sarah. Who are you taking to the pet show? <laughs> Sarah hasn't got a pet to take to the show. It's not fair! Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. Everybody's got a pet but me. <laughs> There's Jess. <gasps> You'll let me take Jess to the pet show? What? How very kind of you, Julian. But I... I, I meant... <gasps> <gasps> Thank you, Julian. <laughs> But... Perhaps you'd better go along with Sarah, Julian. Yes, that's a good idea. Hey, Sarah, wait for me. Come on, Julian. We've got lots to do. It's strange not having wee Jess here with us. Julian's lent him to Sarah Gilbertson for the pet show. Oh... What a kind wee laddie your Julian is. Hmm. I hope he's all right. Cheerio, Pat. Cheerio. Fetch, Bunny. <laughs> oh, well done, Mira. Bunny's really clever. <laughs> so are you. <laughs> Hmm, I wonder how Jess and Julian are getting on. Hmm. Sit! <coughs> Cats aren't like dogs, Sarah. They don't do tricks. Jess will soon learn. Morning, Ajay. Are you going to the pet show? Morning, Pat. Oh, yeah. Mira's really excited. Yes, Julian is too. Well, he was. Now, don't be silly, Jess. You've got to look your best for the pet show. Jess hates being fussed over, Sarah. Who's going to be a beautiful pussycat then, eh? I told you Jess wouldn't like it. Jess? Come back! Jess! Oh, Pat, you haven't seen two stray sheep on your round, have you? Mm, no, Julia. Well, have you lost them? Well, the twin sheep got out of their field first thing this morning 
We've been trying to catch them, but they keep running away. Oh, dear. And on the day of the pet show, too. Mm. The twins are going to be so disappointed. Hmm. <laughs> Come on, Dotty. Look, Dotty. Look what I've got for you. Wait, come on, Dotty. <coughs> well done, Jess. Back in a cage at last. We'd never have caught Dotty without your help, Jess. Are you in there? <laughs> Hello again, Dr. Gilbertson. Have you lost something? Oh, Pat. Um, we seem to have lost Jess. Oh, no. What happened? Well, uh, it's a long story, Pat. Uh, Julian and Sarah are out searching for him now. Oh, dear. I'd better see if I can find them. Bye, Dr. Gilbertson. Bye, Pat. I'm sorry. In you go. We're going to lose them again, Tom. Come this way. Thank you, Jess. We'd have missed the pet show if it wasn't for you, Jess. <sighs> Tolly, have you seen Jess? He ran away. We can't find him anywhere. He was here earlier. He helped me catch my guinea pig. Hello, everyone. Oh, Dad, we've lost Jess. Yes, I know. Don't worry. He can't have gone far. I'll go and look for him in the van. Can I come with you, Dad? Of course you can. I'll carry on looking round here, Julian. Sorry we can't help, Pat. I said we'd meet the vicar on the village green. The pet show's due to start soon. <gasps> oh. <coughs> <coughs> Jess, where are you? Jess? Jess? Hi there, Jess. <sighs> We've lost Bonnie's ball. Hi, Bearer. Have you seen Jess? Yes, he's just... Oh, he's gone. I've got to find him. Waiting for Mrs. Goggins. Okay, wow. see you soon, Mira. Bye, Lucy. Jess! Where are you, Jess? Come on, Jess! 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 Hello, Mr. Pringle. Hello, Reverend Timms. Hello, Lucy. 
Hello, Blob. Where well, you're early. I wanted to settle him down before everybody arrived. He's not been to many pet shows. Meow. Ah, yes. Wow. Meow. What are you doing here? Oh. Wow. I think he likes Blob. Meow. Jess, where are you? Jess! Jess! Oh. We could try Greendale Farm, Dad. I've already been there, Julian. Let's take a look round the village green. <coughs> Mira Beans and Bonnie. Katie and Tom Pottage, with their sheep, Parsley and Sage. Pleased to meet you, ladies. <laughs> Don't forget us, Dad. As if I'd forget Dotty. And Lucy Selby, with her goldfish, Blob. And last, but by no means least... Yeah. Oh, there you are. You've had us all worried, Jess. Ooh. Oh, wow. Sarah. Jess is your pet, Julian. You should take him to the show. Oh, thanks, Sarah. <laughs> anyway, he likes you a lot more than he likes me. Can I have your attention, please? The Reverend would like to announce the winner of the Greendale Pet Show. <clears throat> it's been a very hard decision. <coughs> You'll have to speak up, Reverend. All the animals were wonderful. Hear, hear. So every one of them will get a prize. Okay, quite right too. Hooray! Oh, yes! But there's a special prize. <gasps> and that prize goes to Julian's cat, Jess. Hooray! A little bird told me that without Jess's help, Charlie would never have caught Dotty the guinea pig. And, and we wouldn't have found our missing sheep. And Bonnie would have never found her ball. Thank you, Jess, for being such a helpful pet. <coughs> Let's hear it for Jess. Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! Well, now we know what you've been doing all day, Jess. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing and the day is just beginning. Feels he's a really happy man Everybody knows his bright red van All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them Maybe you can never be sure There'll be knock ring letters through your door <laughs> Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. 
Pat feels he's a really happy man. Julian, Meow. come and get your breakfast. You'll be late for school. Meow. Oh, dear. Now I'm late oh. for work at the cafe. Meow. Cheerio, Pat. Bye, love. Morning, Julian. Oh, morning, Dad. Oh, dear. Sounds like you've got a bad cold. I wonder if you should stay at home today. I, I can't. You've got to go to work, Dad. Well, not if you're ill. I could ring Mrs Goggins and tell her I need to stay at home to look after you. Oh? Really? Yes, but only if you really are too poorly to go to school. <coughs> oh, yes. Oh, I'm definitely too poorly. All right. I'll give Mrs Goggins a ring and call the cafe to let your mum know. We won't be needing the post bag today, Jess. We're staying at home to look after Julian. Meow. Meow. Oh, don't you worry, Pat. There's only a few letters today, so I'll deliver them for you. I hope we Julian is feeling better soon. <laughs> Cheerio, Pat. Oh, Bonnie. I've got post to deliver. Now, where did I put my old post hat? Oh, it'll be just like old times. Out you go and play, Bonnie. Oh, can't I sit on the sofa and watch television? No. If you're feeling ill, the best place for you is in bed. Ah, uh, hmm. I'll leave you to get some rest, but if you need anything, just ring that bell and I'll come straight up. Thanks, Dad. Meow. 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 I can't play with you, Jess. I'm supposed to be ill, remember? Meow, meow. Oh, hmm. Oh, this is boring. What is it, Julian? Are you OK? Uh, could you bring me my comic book, please, Dad? Yes, yes, of course. Meow? <laughs> Being ill is fun. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> Hello, Bonnie. Looking for someone to play with? <laughs> Sorry, Bonnie. I've got lots of poorly animals to see today. <laughs> Hello there, Jess. Strange not to be delivering the post, isn't it? <laughs> Coming, Julian. <laughs>
Hello, Bonnie. <laughs> Have you come to see how I'm getting on? <laughs> no, no, no. I've no time to play, Bonnie. <laughs> oh, stop it, Bonnie. You're making me dizzy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, dearie me. There you go, Julian. Thought you might be thirsty. Oh, uh, thanks, Dad. <coughs> <laughs> They're looking much better, Alf. I think they'll be fine now. Thanks, Amy. Hey, I do worry about me sheep. <coughs> me sheep! Maisie! Bessie! Mabel! What on earth's got into you, Bonnie? It's naughty to scare sheep like that. Are you still looking for someone to play with? Sorry, Bonnie. Maybe we could play later. Bye, Alf. Bye. Uh, Got to go, Bonnie. Mabel. <laughs> Yummy ice cream. Hey. Oh, uh, I mean, thanks, Dad. That'll make my sore throat feel much better. It's dangerous to play in the road. You could have been hurt. Come on. I'll take you home. What is it, Bonnie? You want me to follow you? Jess? Is that you? Well done, Bonnie. Don't worry, Jess. We'll soon get you out of there. Meow, meow. Stay with Jess, Bonnie. I'll be right back. Meow, meow. I'm coming, Jess. It's okay, Jess. I'm here now. Let's take a look, eh? Meow! 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 Hmm, looks like a broken leg. First things first, Jess. I'll give you some medicine for the pain. Then we'll get you out of here, eh? Meow! Mum! Oh, hello, sweetheart. I left work early to make sure you're all right. How are you feeling now? Oh, um, a lot better, Mum. Oh, Pat, you don't look so good. I'm fine. <coughs> Just a bit tired, love. Um, is Jess up here with you? Uh, no. Come to think of it, I haven't seen him for ages. Oh, dear. I wonder where he is. It's okay, Bonnie. We're almost there. How are you doing in there, Jess? 
Let's get you to the surgery and get that leg fixed, eh? Hello, Amy. What? Jess is hurt. <gasps> oh, no. Yes, we'll be there immediately. Mum? What's happened to Jess? He fell down a hole and hurt his leg. He's at the surgery. I'll go straight there. Oh, Dad, it's my fault. If you hadn't been looking after me, Jess wouldn't have wandered off and he'd be OK. You can't help being ill, Julian. Your dad's right, love. But, but, but I'm not ill. Oh! I was at first, then I felt better. But it was kind of fun, so I pretended. Julian! And now Jess is the one that's really ill, and it's my fault because Dad's been running around after me. Oh, I'm so sorry. We'll talk about this later. Let's go. It's OK, Jess. I'm just checking to see if you've broken any more bones. Yep. That leg is definitely broken. But we'll have it fixed in no time. I'll get it bandaged for you. I'm so sorry, Jess. Is Jess going to be OK, Amy? Yes. He'll need lots of care and attention, but he'll soon be back on his feet. I promise I'll take extra care of you, Jess. I can't thank you enough, Amy. It's Bonnie you should thank. I couldn't have found Jess without her. <coughs> thank you, Bonnie. <coughs> Come on, then. Let's get Bonnie and Jess home. <coughs> I think you need to get home too, Pat. You sound as if you're getting a cold. <coughs> I'm feeling a bit thirsty, Jess. What about you? Meow. Keep up the good work, Julian. Yes, Dad. 